Time has now come to return at the Discovery Sport. Look at this fuck fest here. We got a truck going this way. We got a car going that way. We're trying to exit out this way. We got a truck backing up behind me. We got cars left and right. Look at this disaster. This ES330. We got four cars trying to exit through two different lanes. We got this truck. Yo, you gotta move, dude. Oh my God. What the hell is going on? Son. Oh my goodness, this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be here for a while. We're trying to pick up the SVR, and unfortunately, it's just not gonna happen. What? All right, he's got it clear, let's go. Fucking go, you moron! Holy sh! Look at this. We're back in business with a Project A. Many thanks to Marwan here at the service center for hooking it up. Got the SVR back in tow. Oh my goodness. See the differentiation of the two colors here. Look at that. You know what the color code is this on the Project 8 right here? It's like a lot deeper hue of blue here versus the SVR. So we got ultra blue on the SVR. And I'm not really sure what the uh, color code is, but there it is, guys. Look at that. Massive wing. 2463. 2463, alright. This part of the front splitter right here, check this out. It's actually in race mode. It extends and slides forward as such. That is absolutely insane. Check that out. What a combination. Of course, this is the US spec one, so we don't get the roll cages in the rear. We wish they kind of stepped up the interior game here, but there's a lot of Alcantara all over here. But dude, this is it right here. The Project 8 in the flesh of course we got the v6 f type svr in tow oh man look at that that thing is hot they just got to drop the price point a little bit it's at around one hundred eighty nine thousand dollars msrp but man whew. all right the car is back better than ever hold on let's slow down this ac here i was carrying a mr sheep while filming that little segment uh with the project date but dude guys the guys here at Hornberg Service, 10 out of 10, highly recommended. If you guys need anything done to your car, make sure to stop by here, right off Wilcox in Hollywood, baby. Yes, sirree, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Vegas. Here it is, our rental car for the weekend. We've got the 2019 Grand Cherokee Jeep. Quick overview of the car. So far, so good. We put around, uh, we put around 400 or so miles on it. Pretty cozy cruiser for the highway. And uh, let's take a look at the rear here. Oh my goodness, there are a couple sheep just chilling in the back seat. As you know, Doug DeMiro is famous for finding quirks and features on his car. So we're gonna do this. Spool this sucker up. Exhibit A, you can see where you have the memory seat function right over here, number one and two, and the middle one is where you set one or set two. All right, no big deal, no problem. Let's just pretend I'm gonna drive, put this in drive. Shut the door, cruise on the lawn, no big deal. Look where my knee is at, ladies and gentlemen. I know the camera quality isn't the best right now because it's a lot of light, but dude, check this out. Do you see the issue here? I have, oh, I actually just triggered memory setting number two. Guys, you're probably wondering, Espo, you're driving like a complete jabroni. Your driving position is incorrect. What are you doing? What are you smoking? Guys, I don't know what to tell you, man. I put around 420, oh, get it? 420. 0.1 miles on this brand new car. And uh, we drove from Los Angeles to Vegas. And here we are, dude. I have hit my knee. It just has hit this button so many times. Look, I'm just chilling, I'm, I'm just chilling, and boom, look. It just triggers memory one profile recall. So I'm driving, I'm just chilling, and of course, I hit the button with my knee as such, and all of a sudden my steering wheel starts to extend, my lumbar support is all messed up, my, my, my seat starts to lean back, and my side mirrors start to move around. And you know what, you know what guys, that's not a good thing. Jeep, you guys have to figure this out. It's absolutely unbelievable. So the workaround is this, you set your 
lumbar support. You set your gangster lean to, you know, maximum or minimum. You set your steering wheel as such and your mirrors, blah, 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 blah. You set it to both memory, recall setting one and two. That way, if you hit either one while driving, you are solid, you're ready to roll, it's not gonna move around, and uh, yeah, you're gonna have a very comfortable drive. So that being said, that's the only quirk so far about this car. Other than that, it's been an amazing cruiser. Guys, check out this Corvette's license plate. <laughs> Arriva Deci. I'm pretty sure that's Italian for. Thank you very much. Come again. All right, guys, we've just been cruising the strip, walking around, driving around Vegas, and we found ourselves this abandoned Camaro convertible, white on white on white so i figured to myself why don't we just stop and take a look because you know i'm kind of you know a fanboy of abandoned cars and what have you check this out <laughs> the door is unlocked and anthony called it the uh, the leather is that leather or like i mean what is that yes, yeah it, it used to be like it's just completely chewed out <laughs> so i'm thinking if the if this driver's door is unlocked we could pop the trunk mm -hmm. and it's well, it's an electronic trunk right here yeah the button doesn't work so uh guys i don't even know what to do the keys are right there should we pop it open pop dude? It. it's time to pop it you ready okay i'm ready if there's a dead body guys i apologize oh ah. no body there's a shoe <laughs> what oh, okay UNLV. Yeah. Go Rebels. Both the keys. key, the ignition key. Well, do you think it will turn on? The battery's dead. Because it wouldn't pop Oh, yeah, top. you're right. Body panels on the front right here. Completely misaligned. No air in the tires. Just completely abandoned. Whew. Anyways, that's kind of our find of the day. <laughs> Not really that impressive, but here we are. Yeah. Oh wow, is there like a minimum offer that you'll make? 100 bucks. Oh, 100 bucks. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. You're welcome. 100 bucks. <laughs> there you guys have it, dude. Guys, we might have to do. So, we were thinking about junking your Corolla outside. Yeah. The one and only stripped down Fast and the Furious Corolla. Yeah. And the uh, junk now, it or take it to CarMax. But, the, but there's one problem, the two front tires. Yes. And will, you said there's like a radiator issue or what was but it? But I filled one of the front tires right now, but it's probably already leaked back down. It oh, loses a lot of air. All right, let's go back outside and take a look. All right. What year is this? Uh, 98. 1998 Toyota Corolla. Um, so you can see the 5% tint all around here. See this, it's already gone flat. Oh yeah. Or it's gone. So you put air in the front left tire, it's already flat. Like so two we're... hours ago, I had this thing to like 30 something PSI. Oh yeah? Well, yeah, it's not looking too hot. <laughs> and then the other one right over here, it's obviously boom. <laughs> this one may not hold air. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Can you tell us what happened to this uh, particular tire, Anthony? Like, it blew out like a couple miles from here and I was just like, fuck it, and oh, just kept driving. Nice, respect. So it made it. Is it unlocked? <laughs> made it home. Is the car unlocked right no, now? Oh no, I gotta lock this beauty up. I don't want anybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, oh, and the front hood, there's some, uh, oh. Is it just not shut down or is that just how it is? Because like, it lets more air in, so for cooling oh, purposes. Oh, for cooling yeah. purposes, right. Yeah. yeah. It's like oh. a Lexus LFA. No, oh, like oh yeah, there's that little slat, <laughs> slat right there, slot Just right there. Like for, oh my God, that's amazing. Well, yeah. you don't mind getting the keys to this beautiful okay. 1998 Corolla. Right. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do a quick car tour. We might possibly, oh, you got these scratched up rims right over here. Got a lot of, uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened here. I'm not sure what he hit, but yeah, this thing is in, uh, I don't know. Once we open this thing up, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna see exactly why bringing this to CarMax might be very, very interesting. So, <laughs> oh, Anthony, what? can you walk us through what has been done to this know, 95 90? 5% tint. These oh, are yeah. actually spray painted as well. Okay, so you got the tint 
outside. No, you got the regular tent inside, and then spray and then you paint. spray painted it just because you know there might be suspicious motherfuckers out there. It's all just about the privacy. Privacy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you cannot really. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So it's just the rear windows that are uh, spray painted. A little bit on the rear glass. Too. Oh, the rear glass as well. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, let me see if we could. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And as you can tell, there's no spare tire. The entire interior has been stripped out. The body panels are missing. To the inside, and um, we got the gangster lean on the front and passenger. <laughs> seats over here um it's <laughs> all right guys um <clears throat> i'm trying to do this with a straight face it's not really working can you can you talk to us custom about steering wheel okay uh, <laughs> just so it's like a fighter it's like a fighter jet oh yeah it's like a fighter jet oh, yeah. i think that doesn't the lamborghini egoista the one seater have like a similar fighter jet inspired steering wheel like this yeah, i it think it's inspired by this car <laughs> Uh, um, and then the tent, you know. Oh, the tent. Light. This is what tent looks like usually, but um, this is the ones where you like apply yourself, right? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, straight from AutoZone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. And cool. We got the door handles here. But yes, I left everything you need. I mean, everything you, you need. need this part of the door panel. Oh, absolutely not. No. Right. And then the oh Jesus. Yeah, you don't need airbags. No, there's no, no airbags or anything in this car. So we're gonna see if CarMax is willing to uh, swoop this, this beauty is up. This be their hundred dollar minimum. The hundred dollar right minimum. Cause you were thinking about junking this car and just, when you junk the car, do they give you anything or? See, they come and pick it up. And then. I, as you saw the tire, I don't think this fix a flat. It oh, gonna work. No. Uh, comment below if you oh. think <laughs> it's not gonna oh, work. Oh man, but. look at this thing, just, oh yeah. I don't yeah. know, with no interior, they're not gonna give more than 100 bucks. With the junkers, might give more than 100 bucks. Wait, really? So that's why. And you, and you wouldn't have to worry about tires. Wouldn't that's true. A new tire, that's right. So should we put a new tire on this just to get it to CarMax and probably get $100? Let us know in the comments below. But well, here's the thing, what if they give you more than 100 bucks? <laughs> Max, the, where's the faith, no Max? Here, no positive thinking. Let's oh, let's lock from this side. Let me just just want to open up from the passenger side here, here ladies and gentlemen. Are you is. kidding me? Look at this. Look at the. <laughs> I like the, how the cigarette lighter is still plugged in. There you go. Look at that. So uh, this is completely stripped out. Do you race people in this, Anthony? Do you? Definitely. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it'll surprise people. Too. It'll surprise people sure. just right off the line. Oh yeah. What you gotta do though is you gotta race them without them knowing it's a race. You get the jump. Oh. Off, <laughs> and then technically you win. Oh yeah. And then of course, um, there's so be there's supposed to be some uh, safety uh, airbags over there, but I guess they're just completely gutted the out. The head unit. The head unit. Oh, you gotta. Does it work? Oh yeah. That's probably hundred bucks right there. Oh nice. wait, what kind of brand is it? It's a Kenwood. Quality. That's respect right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, check this out. We're at the Costco gas station here in Las Vegas. Look at the prices. Soak it in, baby. $285. Well, $286. We'll call it even. So much cheaper than Los Angeles. Look at this. No line here at the Costco gas station. This is honestly unbelievable and of course costco is still open until 8 30 so dude should we move to vegas i don't know this is a tough decision the play game once again strikes look at this fire red on the, <laughs> the mustang <laughs> guys check this out the car is on we're on the strip we're having issues with the key fob on this brand new 2019 grand cherokee limited edition with Boy, that's a mile. As you can see, the car is still on, and it says the key fob has left the vehicle. Yeah. Well, the biggest problem with him is that the, the improper placement of the M badge. Like, I've never seen, I don't know, that's just weird. It's just too close to the numbers, right? Christ, listen to the idle on the Mustang GT. We got the, is that a four? Oh, he's inching forward.
I knew it. Yeah. Are we going straight? Yeah. We're going straight, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, he's just like, I, I ain't playing with that shit. You knew it. I knew it. Dude, I have like a sixth sense <laughs> for fuck boys, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It is a God-given gift. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is going to get... Oh, shit. He's got behind the Mustang. You guys just missed it. He just did a massive pull. Almost lost it. Almost lost it. All right, here we go. <laughs> it sounds like... A Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Check this out. My entire laptop editing setup here, headphones, laptop, got the tablet, got the charger, the hard drives, the mouse, oh my goodness. You guys wanna know what I'm using to edit my videos and film them? Link in the description below, Amazon store, slash F-spot, ba 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 bada beam, bada boom. Check it out, but guys, we're gonna hop right into today's subject matter, the video title. You're probably wondering, F-spot, what the hell is going on? Three years in the making, Three years of videos, you're probably wondering, dude, face reveal, what's going on? Oh, and by the way, Mr. Sheep, check that out, just chilling. But uh, yeah, three years in the making, why now? I think it is finally time to unveil or do a face review, so to speak. Do a little vlogging, not just like a quick, haha, you see my face and now you don't. That being said, you guys have to choose one or the other according to my video title. I can either go buy a new supercar or I do the face review and do a little vlogging. So you can choose both. You have to choose one or the other. This is not clickbait. I'm not BSing anybody. I think it's finally time we do a little bit of vlogging so that way I can like talk to you guys, have a more personal interaction. You don't have to see my stupid little hand waving around 24 seven because honestly that gets a little annoying. But that being said, it might be easier to do a few videos or they're more informative or I'm telling you what's happening and you can see my reactions and I'll be able to communicate and have a closer personal connection with you guys. So if you guys wanna see a face review, let me know in the comments below. But on the other hand, if you wanna see me do a supercar build or buying a supercar or just buying any sort of car to uh, basically enhance the channel, you guys gotta let me know in the comments below as well. So right now, scroll down, Type down if you want to see me buy a supercar or do you want me to do a face reveal after three plus years of vlogging and filming weird, crazy videos on YouTube. So that being said, this channel is going in a completely new, uncharted direction. Of course, the S600 guys, like I'm telling you, I put around 20 plus thousand dollars into this project. I barely even made a video about it. Anyways, boom, look, listen. Laptop down, slam the shut, by the way, all the gear, you guys know where to check it out. Mr. Sheep is not for sale, I'm sorry. And again, thank you everyone who reached out to me, uh, offering me their Toyota Supra at a decent or reasonable price. So I do thank you guys for the support. But we gotta go outside, go to the strip, hit up Anthony's garage, and dude, we gotta bounce. Let's roll. 